psychopaths and communication history or the context of communi communication history and so one thing psychopathic psychopaths do they gaslight you right obviously and one way they do it is that if you look at something the codependent person tends to be like i am especially if they develop autistic tendencies like i did um very sensitive to language and phrasing and also patterns right all sorts of patterns so they when when they communicate to you and you have a history of communication they are really appropriate within that history the context of that history of communication with you right they're very appropriate even if they're being like purposefully inappropriate it's very weighted it's it's like very appropriately inappropriate you know they're doing something very specific on purpose given that history of communication and the context of it you know and i know i'm like that and that's how all codependent people are to some degree or another depending on the degree of autism that they have um check that out yeah the degree of autism they have so this guy, uh, he's been commenting on my videos for about two years, uh, about one year at least. And what he does is every time I, I seek to engage him, which I don't do often because I know him, like I know his game. But um, when I do, what he'll do is immediately he'll turn on, like he will do everything in his power to get me to engage with him and t to believe that he's a sympathizer which i've never really done i just bait him a little bit sometimes now because i've learned to do that <laughs> to play with the sociopath because otherwise they'll you know they'll consume you if you don't learn to do that and so every time i throw him a bone to make him feel like he's getting to me you know what he'll do is immediately he'll turn and he'll like undermine me or try to undermine me. So like the first time I did it, he he sent and it's this weird thing. Like it's like they never want you to be able to fully they want you to be hurt by it, but they don't want you to be able to grasp on it to like to articulate it. Right. But I can now, you know, and I, I don't care if I'll, I'm paranoid or whatever the fuck I, I can see it, you know, after 30 years. Right. And so the first one was he sent me a message and he says um he says something about uh, like a lonely boy but he doesn't directly refer to me but he kind of implies th there's no lone other lonely boy you know saying so he just he kind of uses that word next time i engage with him like seven months later he sends me a he sends me this email and then he gives me four documents and the last one is lonely sayyid <laughs> you know lonely sayyid you know and it's and it, it there's truth in it right that there's some truth in it but it it's it's chosen ikhtiar, you know it is something i have chosen it, it, it's not like it's not the primary thing i'm choosing it's that my circumstances and purposes require it you know i i've chosen it because uh in that way like i mean i'm choosing what leads to it you know what i'm saying i'm not choosing it but i'm choosing what leads to it consciously of the consequence and that being one of the consequences Be not because it had to be this way because but it's because the bullies in my life made it that way they made it that way and so now from the choices that i have available to me at this moment that is a choice i'm making not because i would make that choice given my uh, my rightful set of options but because th the set of options that i have pragmatically available to me now that is what i'm choosing <coughs> but it's wrong for me to have to experience this you know what i'm saying but but yet i'm choosing it because it's the best option i have right now given whatever i've just said so um he does that and then like this other one, this other gaslighting, sandbagging bitch, she um she like will will say stuff directly opposite, like in like that I've contradicted, right? I'll say like I was the codependent bullied kid, and she'll say like, oh he was traumatized early, so he started bullying people. You know what I mean? Like and I can clearly see it, you know, and you can see it. But but when you're younger, it seems like you're paranoid and maybe you are paranoid because until you refine your appreciation and judgment of it and like you can really be like, Oh yeah, that's that's a sandbagging narcissistic bitch right there. Until you can clearly make that discernment 
there is a way in which you can throw around the labels but once you get good at it once you recognize it once you have the appropriate caution and you can see it like once you have the vision for it then screw the world just recognize that you know what it is you know just rec you recognize it when it happens because just like anything else in the world just like you recognize other opportunities you know in the world that you develop the intelligence for this is something you can learn to recognize uh, especially after 35 years of psychological torture okay you have a right to just say like i know what i'm talking about i don't care if you agree or not obviously the sociopath even if they know they're a sociopath don't want to agree that they are because then that gives them less power over you they are only powerful or influential to the degree that you remain unaware or self-delusional about their sociopathy you know and that's how bullying works and and that's why the legal system is bullshit in the united states because they don't recognize that there's these psychological states of self-delusion that certain people who are psychopathic and self-interested they they have to put you in those self-delusional states they push you into them they coerce you into them they seduce you into them they use fiduciary influence to put you into them in some way so there's always these there's always these um self-interested narcissistic people who put you in self-delusional states and that's what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to as a shaitan in the quran right and that's why the u.s american legal system is bullshit because if it, 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 there used to be this law on seduction where if a man seduced a young woman you know to sleep with him then he was obligated by law to get married to her like there was, used to be some law like that it was called seduction right common law and um they stop applying it but that that's real right like if sociopaths that's what they do they put you in a position where you're in a double bind you have two options neither one of them are good one is to stop trusting them and lose all hope of everything you've invested yourself into for the last whatever the fuck right and the other one is to to keep trusting them despite knowing that it's probably a bad idea or on some level feeling anxiety about it let's just say that to trust them and maintain hope of a recovery of some sort you know a recovery of some sort and they put you in that situation and then what they do is they want you to trust them and so they will coerce they will seduce they will bribe they will induce uh, they will they will give you contracts of indemnity if you know what they will take away all negative consequences for trusting them at least theoretically so they'll do whatever it takes to get you to trust them to make the wrong choice right while you're in a double bind and you're in a vulnerable position and every time you trust them you'll come into an even more vulnerable position right and that and and they're doing that very specifically targeted at your psychology like your psychology <coughs> your trauma the thing that hurt you the way you think your shakla if we say it in arabic your shakla they will target that and they will try to <coughs> they will try to hurt you specifically uh because um because that's what they do they're set up their whole intelligence wait up <coughs> their whole intelligence is set up to where they need to understand you and like your psychology and how to manipulate you that's what they do they're like the michael jordan of doing that like the way michael jordan can manipulate a basketball is the way they can manipulate your psyche from the youngest age that's what they've learned to do is manipulate psyches right their whole intelligence their whole strategy at life is how to manipulate and control other people right that's how they get what they want and need out of life but when that's what how you get what you want and what you need out of life you have a really sadistic personality that's what happens all right i'm gonna stop this one there bye